guys, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here which is inspired by a runway look from Kimchi of Season 8 of RuPaul's Drag Race. The season finished out last week and I really wanted to do the tutorial last week but school just, it really just crowded up my entire life so I didn't have any time to do it so I decided to do it for this week and I'm doing her look I can't remember which week it was but it was like this Picasso styled look that I just absolutely loved and I really wanted to try out and so that is what this look is today if you want to see how I did this look then let's go okay so to start off this look I covered up my right eyebrow just kind of I mean honestly it looks pretty horrible but it's gonna do the job and that's what matters I also put in this little earring because in the picture that I'm referencing kimchi has a earring that looks similar to this on so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get started the first step is to outline the design so using a concealer pencil and the picture that I will link down in the description box below I'm outlining all of the elements of the design you can just try to get it as close as possible at this stage because you can fix anything that you may have made a mistake on with the paints later on. And so now I'm taking some white face paint and I'm basically just going to be filling in all of the areas that are white. Although I'm using white face paint, I would actually recommend that you use some kind of like white foundation or white cream product just because the white face paint tends to go really, really patchy, which is what happened to me. I'm not sure if I'm using it wrong or something like that, but I would just recommend that if you want something that is very, very stark and strong and pigmented that you use something like a foundation or a cream product. If you do choose to use white face paint as your medium for this look, then just keep in mind that you're going to have to do a couple layers to try to get it as pigmented as possible. And so that is what I'm going to be doing after I finish this eye piece here. I'm just going to be going over the areas that I have done with the white with a couple more layers of white to try to make it as white as possible. How many times did I say white? Probably about 50 billion. And now we're heading over to the dark side. We're going to be filling in the rest of the area with just straight up black. And um, there's not much of a science to this one aside from you just have to kind of keep in mind of the shapes and you want to try to make the edges of the white crisp with the black. So as you fill it in, just kind of be careful about those edges because you don't want the colors to mix. You just want it to kind of cut the white out. I also forgot to say this about the white, but remember to get your neck and your ears. You want this to be kind of like white out, black out, so make sure that you get those areas as well. And so now I'm just taking the pink face paint and I'm going to be filling in all of the areas that need to be pink in the design. This pink that I'm using here is not nearly as bright and neon as the one Kimchi used. So if you want to be 100% accurate, then you should probably try to find that kind of face paint. But I'm just using what I could find, which was this kind of like soft looking pink face paint. And now it is time for the trickiest part of the entire tutorial, and that is the fine details. I'm going to be using the black face paint that I've been using this entire time, and I'm going to go over all of the things that need to be fixed, as well as outlining all of the shapes of the design. During this outlining lip part, I managed to fuck up the line that goes across my mouth, so I just want you to ignore this because we are going to fix it later on, I promise. I also fill in that little space that I left earlier when filling in the black just because for those inner parts of the eye, you really don't want to use a big brush because you could easily fuck up the, you know, line of the white, so you just want to use a smaller brush when going in that little section there. 
You also may have noticed that a wild eyebrow has suddenly appeared. I don't want you to be alarmed, but basically I just didn't include the footage of me painting on the eyebrow because it's in the wrong spot. It needs to be farther down, so I'm just going to remove it and paint it on again in the right spot. And I just figured there wasn't really a point in me showing you this eyebrow when it's just going to be removed anyway. And see, there it goes. Bye eyebrow. After the grief has passed, I'm covering up the remnants of the eyebrow with some white just to kind of get it back to that solid state. Now I'm taking a green face paint and I'm going to be using this to fill in the iris of the eye. Again, this isn't as bright as the one kimchi used. I just used what I had on hand, but if you do have a neon green face paint, then go ahead and use that. Just as a side note, try to keep your lid as closed as possible during this part so that way you don't mess up any of the application. Then I went over that with a bright green eyeshadow to try and lighten up the dark green. Then I followed that with some white eyeshadows to the white parts of the eyes for no reason in particular. After that, I filled in the lips again with that same pink face paint to begin the repair process. While the lips were drying, I went ahead and free-handed the eyebrow back on. If you do attempt this look and you're free-handing the eyebrow, just make sure that you take your time with it. It's all about patience. You really, really don't want to fuck this up. The irony of me saying that will be clear in about a minute. Now I'm taking that black face paint again and I'm just going to be outlining the iris so you just really want to be careful with this. This is really, really fine detail work and you don't want to fuck this up. I, I say this a lot, but you really don't want to fuck up the details. Remember that irony I mentioned earlier? No. Balls. <gasps> no, 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 fuck, 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 fucking ball sack. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to cry. Say it, I can say it, I can say it. It's okay. It is a-okay. Goodness, I need some more this right now. Well, wasn't that fun? So now I'm just gonna fix the fucking eyebrow and I'm gonna fix out the outlines and everything that basically just got ruined. The lip is completely dried now, so carefully, I go ahead and add that little line across the lips. So I thought I had less water this time, but, you know, apparently I just don't learn my lesson. What the fucking ball sack shit down? I'm just thankful it wasn't as bad as the last time, so I just kind of cleaned it up, and then I went in with a lot less water with the white face paint, and it worked. Finally. And then I touch up the eyebrow for about the 50 billionth time and then I go over the lashes to make them a little bit more spiky. I go over the lips again and I'm just touching up at this point. Then finally I add a little bit of neon pigment over the green and then I add a highlight to the eye on the wrong side but that's okay. <laughs> and so here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more videos from me, then please hit subscribe. And until next time, bye bye Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Please tell me I didn't just fuck up this lens.